Hi everybody, this is a video of the Osram 250 watt self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb. As you can see, this is the self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb I got from eBay. And as you can see on it, it says Osram 250 watts. And as you can see on the side of the carton, it says mercury blended tungsten lamp. And it's a self ballasted mercury lamp. And I got this bulb from eBay and it says Osram 250 watts. And, um, and it came today, and as you can see again, it says Mercury Tungsten Blended Lamp. It's a self-ballasted mercury lamp. And I looked it on eBay, and I thought I'd get this bulb, and uh, and as well as the, the Tungsram Mercury Vapor Bulb. And as you can see on it, it says, um, if the camera comes in focus, it says www.osram.com. That's what it says on it. So, and that's what it says, and it's got the... Um, well, and it's in a cylinder carton, and I thought I'd get this bulb because this bulb really caught my eye, and it cost £17, which that's not uh, that bad. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of its box, and you'll see one second or two, everybody. So, right, I'm going to get out of its box, and, and you'll see one second, everybody. Right, that's it now, I've got it out now. Put the carton on the breakfast tea table, everybody. So, so... Anyway, anyway, here I have the the Osram tungs yeah the Osram self ballasted mercury bulb, and uh, and as you can see on it, and uh, it says um, if it comes in focus, it says Osram HWL MBFT in close brackets, two hundred fifty watts, two hundred thirty five volts with a crossed out bin on it as a PRC F nine B eight and uh, I'm not sure where it was made from. It must be made in Germany or maybe Holland. And let's take a good look inside. And as you can see, you can see that filament looks a bit like a spider's web, and that's to ballast the mercury arc tube and what have you guys. So, and as you can see, you can see the you can well you can you can't see it too clear, but you can vaguely see the the arc tube. You can definitely see the filament more than the arc tube, and it's got the uh, stainless steel Edison forty screw cap. And it's got 250 watts. Let's take a look, good look into it this way. And as you can see on it. And it's got this little dint hole. It holds the, the inside all in place. And what have you guys. So so anyway guys. So I'm going to get into the socket now. So. Right. It's fitted in nice and tightly now. It's fitted in like so. So anyway guys. So um. And as you can see now, it's fitted in like so. So I'm going to uh, turn off this uh, big lamp now. So, right, that's it now. The big lamp's gone now, now everybody. So onto the 250 watt Osram self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb, everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow, blimey, that is bright. And as I say, it's 250 watts bright. And I've tested it, and it and it works as normal. It's got the good re-strike in it. So, anyway, guys, let's take a good glimpse into it before it changes into mercury. And, and as you can see, you can see the filament. And it does start with the incandescent filament. And you can, you can see right through the arc tube. You can't see no gas in it. But it will flare up soon. But let's take a glimpse in it through that way. Oh, yeah, you can see that the filament is like a C-shape, like a crescent moon. It's a, a C-shape. And I thought I'd get this bulb, but this bulb really caught my eye. And it's lit the room nice and bright. It's like like a white chocolate and what have you guys, like hot milk. So anyway, guys, so as you can see, look all around my room. And it shines very nice and bright, 250 watts bright and everything, guys. So, so as you can see. And as you can see on it, it's lit my breakfast tea table nice and bright with all my bananas, oranges, apples and pears. Well, my pears being eaten, so... And it's lit my breakfast tea table ever so bright. And I've had this remounted. I've had it altered into an Edison 40 lamp holder. It had an Edison 27 lamp holder. So anyway, let's take another good glimpse in it too. Because it might be changing to mercury. Oh yeah, it is now. As you can see now, the, the, uh, the mercury gas is starting to come in now. But it's still shining like incandescent. And let's look at it over above. And as you can see on it. So, oh yeah. It, it, it does warm up this bulb does warm up very quickly so so it does it it, t it takes about a minute and a half to fully warm up so so that means it's uh, I can see now from my eyes I know I can squint at it uh, it's um it is uh, I can see the mercury vapor starting to come in now it's taking over the incandescent filament and um and I thought I'd get this Osram one because this Osram one really caught my eye and it and I bought it off eBay and that's what I've done so um, <clears throat> so anyway guys let's take a good look at this shall we um, 
it says uh, made by Osram PRC and that's what it'd be made in so it says Osram GmbH uh, stay near 62 86167 Osberg Germany so it's supposed to, so it's made in Germany so it must be a German company Osram I think it's a very efficient company as well as Philips I hope someday I might get a Philips one a Philips self ballasted mercury bulb at 500 watts bright so I hope I'll get one at 500 watts and I'd love to get that before anyone else gets it so I know, I know these things are very hard to get and um, it's all in different other foreign languages but you see the barcode on it and um, and that's all it says it's a mercury tungsten lamp and I, so once again I've, I've tested this bulb before before I put it on eBay and it's uh, and it's struck up really and it started up perfectly fine with no faults and uh, and it started up um, and it re-striped up after I turned it back on and after I turned it off and it, it stopped off for about about two minutes and then well about a minute and a half and then a minute and a half later it starts to flare up with a bit of blue gas so as you can see now it looks like it's uh, fully changed into incandescent well to mercury vapor now so as you can see yeah you can see now the mercury out tubes fully come in now at 250 watts bright and hot and everything guys so um, let's take a good look into it now so as you can see oh yes you can still see that hint of uh, yellow and that's from the incandescent filament you can see it more clearly through the white coating and through that dint hole it's like a C shape yeah so um, let's look up all around my room it's look all more whiter than white now because of the uh, mercury art tubes fully coming now <coughs> so anyway guys um, Last night I did the mercury vapor bulb and that was the tongues ram one. Now that one wasn't self ballasted. Um and that had a I put that in a ballasted fitting and uh, it did make a loud racket. But this one doesn't make a noise at all. Well, I actually put my head towards it and I can still hear it making a bit of a humming noise. Can you hear it humming? I don't think you can, can you? But but as you can see, like you can see, you can still see the, the mercury art tube shining very nice and blue. Yeah, uh, around the incandescent filament. So and it looks as bright as the sun, yeah. So um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful bulb, and uh, and that's a third. Well, actually, it's, I could actually call it a fourth one because the third one I got was the Calex one, but that the filament failed in that one. So so I call this one the third one as I've got now because I haven't got that Calex one no more because that one was no good due to the filament breaking on it and it had an air leak. So two of them, so three of them I got now at 250 watts is the SW Clark Limited one, the Bellite one, and now the Osram one, and that's at 250 watts. I think that's a, I think that is a very, very efficient, efficient wattage, um, 250 watts, and that's what it is. So, and from my eyes, it shines a bit more like pinkish. Well, it's like a mixed color because of due to that incandescent filament. Yeah, but like I did, like I said, it does start with the incandescent filament. Before it does change to mercury. After I turn it on, it starts to come into mercury a bit more quicker than the others. But and as you can see on it, so and let's take take a good look into it through that way. You can't really see it in that way because it's because it's so bright and everything, guys. So and it's a uh, let me room nice. It's very reflective white because it's like like I think this bulb has got four thousand or maybe five thousand Kelvin. I just don't know so so as you can see guys and and uh, that's all you can see guys so anyway once again so as you can see now the the 250 watt self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb has reached its full brightness at uh, 250 watts bright and hot and everything uh, at uh, mercury vapors after it's been at incandescent so anyway guys all I'm gonna do now I'm going to uh, turn off this uh, self ballasted mercury light bulb now so Wow, and you see the filament fade away and the cathode filaments inside the mercury art tube. Yeah, so anyway guys, so as you can see now, the bulb's gone out now, so I'm going to turn this lamp back on. Right, that's it now, the, the, the big table lamp's back on now, everybody. So anyway guys, uh, this is a video of the Osram 250 watt mercury vapor light bulb and everything and, and what have you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, so please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching everybody.